Yes, hello everyone, this is Drip Drop, and today we are watching another reaction video, but this is not really a new kind of reaction video. I've reacted to this kind of reaction video before. Me and my friend Justin reacted to, like, I don't know what the plot was about, I just remember something about aerodynamics and how some chick was, like, super smart, or I think it might have been a dude. I don't remember, but yeah. I'm literally bored out of my mind today. Nothing is happening. That's the only reason why I'm making this video, because I'm bored out of my mind. Anyways, today we're watching MSA, previously My Story Animated. I look too different from my family. Today we're gonna watch someone find out they're adopted. Animated. He was gone for months. Mom left us when I was a baby, so grandma took care of me in dad's absence. When I was in seventh grade, this is a villain arc if I've ever seen one. If you did that to someone's pink dress, you deserve to go to hell. I hate you and I don't respect you. If you do that to anyone, you lose all respect for me. A simple mistake like that? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Death. Be chasing me. It's okay. The wedding's over anyway. My stepmom doted on me. And Jenny, well, she was also pretty awesome. But sometimes she went overboard with her kindness. Aria, I made these napkins for you. With my own hands. That would have been cute if Jenny hadn't made that out of the dress I wore on our parents' wedding day. Once, Jenny and I were playing in a nearby park and... What the fuck? Why is an ad play? I heard her screaming, so I ran to her and found one of our neighbors holding her by her collar. What are you doing, Mrs. Sparkly? I caught this little thief trying to break into your home. She was crawling through the kitchen window. That's because I forgot the key and no one's home. I have no remorse for her. What she did is unacceptable, and I hate her. I don't know why I specifically hate her so much and not anyone else. She just seems really annoying. And she probably was trying to break in too, you know? Like, you don't know this stuff. Your sister? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. You're so pretty. You both don't look related at all. Wow. Just like, straight up in her face. Your sister? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. You're so pretty. You both don't look related at all. Wow. Just like, straight up in her face. You, you really just call her ugly. I, I, I'm, I'm flattergasted. Bro, I hate Jenny so much. Jenny's like that one kid no one likes. Bro. Look at her. Look at her. Ugly. You look like you're related to a family of pigs. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Penny? Oh, isn't that your name? You look like you're related to an owl. Grabbed a fistful of mud, threw it on Mrs. Barkley's face, and ran away. Dad had to face the anger of a furious Mrs. Barkley for an hour or anything. Soon, Jenny joined my school, and I was glad to introduce her to my friends. Bro, Jenny is just trying to fit in. Jenny's trying to be someone who she's not. This is what I think Jenny should do. Turn herself in. Jenny's a pussy. Oh, oh, you, you thought I was gonna say more? No, that's all. Point proven, Jenny is a bitch. Months passed, and one day, Dad got a call that he and his team had to leave for Afghanistan immediately. A couple of days after Dad left, he got the most terrible news. Dad and a few of his teammates had gone missing. I was devastated, but Mom and Jenny acted like... Penny 
probably killed him. I'm not gonna lie. Penny probably sat that all up just to ruin her life. You know why? You want to know why? It's not like I've been saying it this whole time. Not like I called it. Penny's a bitch. I, I hate Penny, bro. I hate- As soon as I saw Penny. As soon as I seen Penny. Bro. And now she's acting like it's normal. The mom's probably in on it, too. I can't let anyone ruin it. Besides, who knows if they'll ever be found. That made me so angry. I gave Jenny a tight slap. She pounced on me and we fought like wildcats until mom pulled us apart. When she heard what happened, she grounded me for a week, sprinkled some extra pepper in the food, and poured a bottle of vinegar into the lemonade. Mom, I feel like I ate the sun. Get me some lemonade, quick. What did you mix in it? It tastes like Okay, I got two questions after that. One, why are eyeballs popping out of your skull? Like you're some wacky cartoon character. I mean, you are, but why? And two, why do you know what pee tastes like? Honestly, I would also just not react at all without with all those horrible jokes. I swear. Some people like in my school tell like the worst jokes and like I smile not to make it awkward but I never laugh because then they'll think it's funny. Are you really a robot? Stop it. Leave her alone. And look, when she smiles, I'm sure Cheryl doesn't want to waste her smile on a moron like you. Just then, our teacher entered and everyone went back to their seats. After that incident, Cheryl and I grew super close. That little liar, that liar, do you see that smile? She's lying about her condition, you know why? So she can get attention. Everyone's a dick in this story. I hate everyone except the main character. I actually, no, screw the main character. She's probably adopted. She's probably also Cinderella. I hate everyone. I'm gonna skip like two minutes. My project's next to Cheryl's. I was about to leave when a hand roughly turned me around. How dare you agree to go out with friends? Don't you know that I'm not for fun nights but he's told me he was taking you. What the fudge? First Cheryl and now Jenny? You um, I almost cursed. You imbecile. There we go. You know, I, I'm changing for the better, guys. Changing for the better. Anyways, you, you see? She's going to be Cinderella. I said that joke four times now, but that's just because I, I'm going to call it. Do they really just keep that in the video? Also, this is the fourth ad in this video. Everyone kept talking about how pretty you looked. 
Penny's a Penny's a puto and I hate her. I think she is a horrible person and she deserved that. Arya's the best character. Roll the credits. I'm done with the video. Friend, Cheryl, you, you said you wouldn't be attending the prom. Well, guess what? I changed my mind and I'm so glad that I did. How else would I have gotten a chance to hear you bragging to your friends about how you lied to ruin things between me and Arya? Jenny looked stunned for a moment. Then she tried to attack Cheryl, but before she could, a crowd of angry girls picked her up and threw her out. Cheryl apologized to me a lot, and I decided to give her another chance. Later that night, when Chris dropped me home, I opened the main door, but right then, a bag came flying at me. Thankfully, I dodged it just in time. How dare you think I'll let you into this house after what you did to Jenny? Stealing the boy she likes? Humiliating her at prom? Take your bag and get lost. Go scrub someone else's toilets now. No one talks to my daughter like that. He ascended from heaven. Holy, that's the best character. The dad. He came back at the right moment. They try to... Like... Banish him in the shadow realm or something. They try to keep him away, but he came back from Afghanistan. Arms. He listened to every word of what mom said, and he was furious. Dad asked me if this is how I've been treated in his absence, and he immediately sent mom and Jenny packing. Dad then told me he'd been captured by the enemy and held hostage for two years. Then the government struck a deal with them and they released him. I missed you so much, Dad. I missed you more, sweetheart. As Dad pulled me in for a hug, I knew my life would be perfect again. And that was it. I can't believe I'm saying it. That was actually pretty good. It was still silly and wacky, but it, it was fun and it made sense. Well, a, a little sense. It made as much sense as an animated story from these guys can make sense. Don't name your child Penny. There's nothing else to be said, so goodbye.